Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the last episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is day 75 now. Grabbing the last little bit of everything that we have here. And taking it over to the Horde base because we're not coming back. So um, that's going to be the last fight over there. So we're going to take this with us. I'm actually going to bring a couple of those with us and probably the gas. Uh, let's bring all three of those for the power because we're going to have three turrets. i got to do a little bit of work and get some turrets up and running. Actually, before I do that, let's grab... Um, oh, actually, we got lots of concrete blocks over there. So let's go do that. Uh, let's get over to the Horde base. So the settings are still the same. It's still 32 max alive. It's so like I said, it was going to be warrior difficulty. Um, I'll show you the stats here in a second too. I think I killed a couple of things. Oh, let's just pick you up. Um, since the last episode ended, I think I ran over a few people. It's about it, really. Uh, I didn't bring the M4 with me. We're not going to need it tonight. Uh, I think we're going to run with exactly the same loadout that we have, though. But I'll probably take the... Um, the... Uh, rocket launcher out. I don't think we're going to need it. At least, I mean, if we need it, then we're in a lot of trouble, right? Okay, let's get these zombies cleared up out here, and then um, we can use up some of this steel, actually. So let's... I need concrete. Let's go get the concrete. I mean, I don't think we're going to need... Like the, I mean, the front of the building will probably need to be done. Um, I know there's a few spots that need uh, slightly to be repaired, but not much. So let's just store whatever is similar in there. We'll grab out exactly what we need later. Uh, let's grab some of that. Some of that. We need that. We need all that. Uh, what else? Uh, I can't remember if I checked the electric fences, so let's do that now. Okay, those are good. That's all good. What I'll probably end up doing... Mm, I think this is probably all fine. Like, I, I, I don't know what else I would do here. We got some forged titanium on us. I think, if anything, what'll be the uh, detriment for the base will be... Um, if they somehow destroy that first section of the walkway. So I think what I'm going to do is we got 140 forged titanium. I think what we do is we do this section here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this one. 9. Get all that done. Yeah, I hear you. Turrets can handle you. Get out of my way. Oh, you got stuff in you. Yeah, I came right. I, I basically came right from the... Uh... Wow, you actually used a lot of your healing supplies. Um, I came right from the uh, wasteland to the house, so there's been nothing in between. This is what's going to take the brunt of the damage, I think, simply because it's uh, of all the spitting. Let's get you updated. And let's get you updated. Those guys. Those are just plates, so no biggie. That's a plate there. Just in case a demo goes off out front. That's the cover from Spit. Forged Titanium. Mm. Yeah, see, I don't know where it's going to be useful here. I mean, we got the blocks that we definitely... Oh, you know what? If we get a Radiator Behemoth, he might go after that block. I think we hold on to the rest of it, though. Let's put it in here. Uh, just for repairs. Or if we need to, like, shore something up really, really, really badly. Uh, now, what else do we need to do here? The roof is all steel, but I think of what I want to do. We've got... Where is... 
this. Okay, so we're gonna need to build. Actually, let's do that. Close you up. We gotta make sure our access to the roof is secured. Just in case. That. And that. Okay, so up here. Gonna get the rest of this done. How much do we have left? A lot. Oh, you know what we need? The other Mark IV turrets. Uh, I'm gonna do... That as well. Okay, Mark IV turrets are in here. We got four of them. Alright, so... Um, Actually, we have all the ammo? I think we have all the ammo on us. No, we don't. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. And we'll get the, um, this guy running tonight too, probably. Now we wanna make sure that we cover this area here, like up, like right up in here. So we'll have the junk turret there so we can reload it. I think what I need to do is let's just turn these into blocks. I don't care how this looks, but so what we need to do is extend this slightly. And then I think we have to go one more. Okay, um, okay, shape, actually we can stay, so here's my thought, mark four turrets, where are you here, or mark two, one, two, and then we need protection for these guys, so we need to add, uh, okay, shape, plates, and then, um, on face, so what we want to do is do that, 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 and that, because we don't want these things to get destroyed, right? And then we can do copy rotation. As long as they can't shoot them from out there, because they're not going to be able to shoot back this way anyway, right? And then we need to add plates here. Um, ah, not there. The cover from the ground guy shooting up here. Alright, let's pull this out. Alright, now we need to get a second set. So, copy shape. We're going to do it over here. So these ones are a little bit better protected. I hope I have enough steel for this. I think I do. Alright, what are we at? Okay, we got lots of steel. Well, not lots, but enough to finish what I need to finish. Okay, so let's copy shape and copy rotation. Right? Because you're going to go down here. I probably should have did this a long time ago, but with 24 zombie hordes and the base that it was at, I mean, we really didn't need it, right? The junk turret, the one junk turret was covering our, our, our ass, but now with the uh, succubus, 
it's going to be a different story. That gives protection from the outside. And then let's copy you. Like that. Now technically I should probably do... I should probably do a, um, a roof over those, but they're going to be pointing up, so I'm not worried about it. All right, let's get you locked. All right, that's all the ammo in. Now let's go down and grab wire tool. Uh, where are you? This time I've actually got it here. Okay, uh, we want to go do this. That's plenty of fuel. Um, oh, we've already got the engines in here. Alright, cool. Well, we don't need these ones then. Nice. So, this is the switch for the turrets, but I think I want to have these guys on like 24-7. So we're going to just connect them to the battery. Because if we, even if we get vultures, they're most likely going to be demonic vultures. And we got to rely on the junk turret to kill them. Or at least provide the ability to kill them. And with the junk turrets maxed out, I mean, here's hoping. Okay, that's all four turrets powered up. So they're going to be flying. So like that. And then you. Like that. I really hope the junk turret sees it. I think I may want to change. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to change where the junk turret's pointing. So this guy, I'm just going to leave. It's maxed out on ammo. Um, it's not powered. Why is it not powered? I thought it was attached to the switch here. Oh, it's not turned on. Holy derp. Alright, well. Yeah, I think that needs to be back more. I think it needs to be like right here. So let's, uh, as much as I dread taking this block out. Yeah, man, the best investment you could ever make in this game is this friggin' titanium pickaxe. Yeah, oh, it's so much faster. Alright, let's grab... Where's my concrete? Okay, we're gonna copy you. Nope. That one. Put you in there. Ooh, does that open up a possibility of them shooting those things, though? Ah! Okay, um... Here's what, well, here's what else we're going to do. So we're standing here. And we're standing here. That's 180. Do we have 180? We do. That's 360. I've got to double it, but still... 
Okay, so that protects that. Um, I think we're okay with this. I'm more I'm more concerned of them shooting fireballs here, right? I think we're good. Let's pull this out. Close you up. Not damaged, right? Okay, so protect the switches, protect that. Uh, these are fine. Let's put. Can we get a block? Uh, advance, please. Like that. So now they're spitting down. Ooh, I should probably take these out too. And then just replace them with uh, these guys. Ooh, I can't. I gotta flip that around. That ah, looks like hell, but whatever. Right? And then we're gonna start with the uh, advanced, the best turret we have. That should cover all the way over. Yep. And then there's plenty on the way back. And yep, that already covers above our head right there. Okay. Uh, well, we never did finish this whole thing up, but uh, what do we got left for steel? A little bit. We need to save some for Horde. Let's just secure this firing position, although I don't think we'll need it. That's pretty good, I think. This one I'm not going to need. A little bit of damage. I think the fireballs spill past blocks. I'm pretty sure they're spills. These are fine. That's all fine. I'm going to do this though. Because I don't know if they're actually going to uh, make it up there. Although the one thing I think I will do... Just in case they decide to spit from that side. Uh, the same thing from here. Shit. What are we at? 76. Now we're going to hang on to that for repairs. Okay, let's get our stuff uh, sorted here. What do we need on us? What do we got? What do we need? Okay, so the stuff that we don't need will be you. Um, don't need a little bit of iron, don't need the gas, don't need these guys, don't need the truck. It's the end game. Not gonna need it. I'm gonna keep the pulse grenades on me. I might try chucking a few out that window. I don't know, maybe. Got lots of dart ammo. So we're doing well with ammo. You know, I think we're, we're I think we're fine in that regard. Let's put you away though, because that's just a recipe for disaster. Bring the pulse grenades down to here. I'm gonna keep you up here. Um, I'm gonna leave all of these guys in play. I'll probably use all the guns tonight. Uh, we're gonna need that. Let's bring you up to here, just in case I need it. This is for repairs. Oh yeah, healing supplies now. What do we have in here that we want to keep on us? We want to keep some of these on us. I didn't need any of this stuff the last horde night, and we were outside. So, I mean, I don't know. Repair kits, maybe. Forge titanium, let's bring those down. Let's bring these down just in case. I think that's it. Red tea, we can max out our red tea on us. We'll probably need that. I mean, but we're hidden, right? So it's like not such a big deal. Uh, yeah, let's turn these blocks into single solid blocks. So if I have to, I'll leave that in there. Actually, let's bring you down. Then let's bring... Uh, 
what did we need last time? Oh, we need this. Not gonna need you. So Fort Bites, I don't know if we'll need. Recog, we might use. Let's bring that down. Does this actually, it does decrease water. So that was what was happening as we were losing 60 water with the Fort Bites and the Recog. Since I didn't use it very often, I, I just didn't realize how bad it was. Um, that's my bad. Let's bring you up. Let's not put it next to the pulse grenade, though. Like that? No. Most likely like that. I'm gonna keep the spear out. We might get some spear action out at the door. It helps with demonic, um, removing demonic regeneration. So, forged iron, we got on us, we got steel on us, we got some concrete on us. Uh, we got the titanium on us. Yeah, 32 zombie horde. Alright, like I said, I wish I could do 64, but my machine will melt, unfortunately. Anybody around? Got both of our turrets running. I don't think there was any repairs I wanted to do on this place. I think I did them all, right? A little bit here and there. Make sure the stairs are good here. Kind of the integral part of this base is that stairway. They can't get up to me, they're definitely going to tear this place down. And that is a possibility. All right, well. We're locked in. I think I might start with the, uh, this, this bottom door down. Just so I get less people spitting at me. See, like, if you're worried... So this base is great, because if you're worried about people seeing you and spitting at you, that is like... Like, if I remove this block, maybe I should. I got time, right? How much steel do I have left? 73? I can use 20 of that, I think. I got time. This could very well end up being a mistake, but... I want to see how it works. So the idea is like, so this is a... Put a quarter block ramp, I guess. Or a half block ramp. I want to go to a quarter block ramp. So we'll pull this out. Go to a quarter block ramp, and that should allow us to see zombies' heads at the end there, and still stop them from getting in. So, shape, uh, this one, this one. No, that's the one that we had, right? Um, yeah, that's the one that we had. It's the one down here. And then advanced. Like that. I might regret this. Nope, maybe not. I mean, that's actually kind of perfect. Right, for the taller zombies? Normal zombies are in here. Taller zombies are kind of like up here. Alright. We'll see. I could be wrong. Uh, let's... Um... Get you back to blocks. So at the end of the horde, definitely going to do this one on foot. We're going to go out there. Oh, let's just hope for no screamer hordes, man. I mean, we'll probably get one, but... All right, let's get some food in us. Um, you give us bonus health. And... Actually, let's just use this one for now. That'll bring our, hopefully bring our wellness back up. Come on, buddy. Yeah, see, even here. That's a wandering horde. So that definitely gives us a better chance to smoke these guys. Where's the demons? Right there.
for the turrets. I don't know if they're shooting the um, zombies here or if they're sh shooting birds that might be by. He was going to spit at me, this guy. Shit, he got, he got a piece of me. If you deactivate their um, regen, then they shouldn't spit, in theory. Also helps to pop heads. This is just even pork and shotgun too, right? Ooh, that was nice. Come on, you guys. I just fixed all that, and now you're like, he died. I don't think so. He is now, though. Yeah, so we took a bunch of damage there. Water's down a fair bit. All right, well, um, just gonna use up these guys. So these give me what, twenty-five each? Oh, a little more than that. All right, now we've got lots of hydration here. I'm gonna keep these on me. Yeah, I think we're good. And I think if we stay like here, well, that's not gonna give us cover from above though. Actually, let's take out that. Well, it was nice of that wandering horde to come by to uh, help me test out my base here. Do we have any more shotgun rounds? I don't. Come on, ass monkey. See ya. Alright, well. I wish you could hover over the turret like this. And then see how much ammo it's got left in it. Like, it'd be nice if there's like a little ammunition counter. And it doesn't even need to tell you how many rounds. Even just like a little red bar on the bottom just to kind of give you an idea of how full it is. But, whatever. Nice little quality of life stuff that could be added. Come on. I should be able to toss a grenade through there too. All right, let's start off with the laser. Actually, let's start off with whatever is going to be uh, best for the zombies that are spawning. We've got lots of ammo for this. It might end up just being laser. You know, we needed a couple of more, um, a couple of more of those energy things for the, uh, the junk turret, the junk sludges. Alright, that's just not cutting it. Nobody there. Alright, so the lag isn't too bad. I mean, it is laggy. God, this thing just feels like it fires forever. Oh, 
You know, it's a bit, um... If I'm talking about Endgame and Darkness Falls, what I'd like to see, I think, is make the demons tougher, um, but give, give less of them. So, like, I mean, we've got the behemoths and stuff, right? And those guys are pretty darn tough, like, on their own. Right? I should just use that. They still haven't got through. I thought the, the biggest problem was going to be they were going to get through and then we'd be fighting at the door all night, but that's not the case. Yeah, it's a little laggy. Finding it hard to keep my gun on target here. So how would I change this? If I was going to make this compatible for a 64 horde, uh, what I would do, one number one, is make the blockhouse bigger. Not by much. A couple of, uh, a couple of blocks either way. Bigger. Uh, I would probably put another sweep out. So I put another one of these over here a little more. That would extend out a little bit more that way, and I would have two uh, lines of um, two lines of uh, wire. So there would be a total of four. Um, let me get this guy. Nope. There would be a total of four. Um, Electric fences. I know I can get the words out. I honestly I can. Yeah, so they have four electric fences here. And then I would keep the uh, junk turrets the same way I've been doing it. I have two, two sledges and one on the roof. Well. Will it not go through there? Or is it? And it's just... What is it hitting? I don't know if it's hitting these. I think it is. I can't really throw them through there then. Alright, well, whatever. I don't even know why I'm using this. So yeah, so we would keep the two, the two, um, these two guys here, and then at the end of this bit, we would do the little snaky single block walkway to add an additional ability for the zombies to fall off. And then once that was done, then it would just be whatever, you know. We'd have the two electric fences at the front. Now, would it handle the hordes that uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steel had in Endgame? I don't know. Like, if we were sitting on a solid block of steel, like, uh, stainless steel below us, maybe. Thought I heard somebody at the door. I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether it's the um, the narrow viewpoint of these guys not being able to see me, or or what it is. But their their fireballs, a lot of them are just missing. I mean, I still take splash damage. My recog done. Yeah, my recog's done. I gotta max out my ability to uh, inflict pain on the enemy at this point. It really maximizes. Like, if you don't have a lot of laser ammo, 
taking the uh, recog really maximizes the laser ammo you do have. Ooh, they've almost broken those blocks out there. And my turrets are actually shooting at their heads. I didn't angle them up. Oh, there's our first uh, guy here. Incubus. I wonder if he'll actually make it through. I don't see him. I think, too, a lot of these uh, zombies are blocking the uh, spit. Come on. There we go. I mean, for but for an average darkness fall playthrough, this base, I think, holds up pretty well. Those blocks are almost down out there, which might end up being a good thing. What are we after laser ammo? Burn it through it. I'm going to save it for... Save some of it anyway for later. Actually, let's do this. They are shooting something up there. Okay, let's uh, get a couple of these on me. It's more healing than I've ever had to use, like, the entire horde board base uh, playthrough here. Get those on me, and then I wanted to check um, Oh, the turret's done. How the fuck did you get in? Oh, the, oh my god, did he break through the, uh, they did. They broke through the, uh, fences. If these guys do so much damage, I wasn't checking them. Yep. Get you up. Which is why we keep, uh, where are you? These guys on us. He's gone. Man, we don't have a lot of steel. Did I get it up? I think I did. Come on. Cool, oh, that could have been way worse. All right. Oh man, I gotta watch this door now. Let's keep them all open. Wow, I'm lucky I had these hatches on me. That could have been bad. Well, I mean, it was bad, but I mean, way worse than what it was. So I don't know. I mean, I guess they broke the uh, plates out there. You gotta go. Yeah, they're already doing damage to these ones on the outside here. So I guess they broke the uh, the plates, keeping the, the uh, flow of zombies. Come on. Yeah, that's what I think has happened. Is the plates that are 
I bet you they're down now. What are you doing? Yep, plates are down. So that's what's actually stopping them, I guess, from getting to this point. Where they can actually get in here. Is those plates. Night vision goggles, which I never used. Yeah, because the turrets are still going off. Yeah, we're still holding our own. The big behemoths get through. These guys here are titans, whatever you want to call them. Then we're in trouble. Because I think they do like 500 block damage per hit or something. And they attack pretty quickly. Somebody blew up. Probably a dog. They do damage so quickly because their attack is so fast. I better check to see that my... Uh oh, there's a hellhound. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Switch this up. I got AP ammo. It's going to be more effective. Now, I got to watch this door. That's actually... Nope. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Um, I was going to check something. What was it? Oh, uh, we need to check these turrets. Are you... You're out of ammo, right? So that's useless. Bring this down. I was going to change this before we were so rudely interrupted. All right, that's back at it. It's sh it must be shooting the guys up front. in the brake blocks here. Come on, switch the gun up. Did they break the hatch out there again? I think they did. Man, I should have brought more steel. They did. Not much, but it'll do. I mean, worst case scenario, we put a concrete block in there. Do we have enough steel left? We don't have any steel left. The steel's gone, so we got what we got. Put this up. <laughs> Got what we got. All right, AP ammo. Yeah, the lag's real now. Yeah, 64 would have murdered my computer. Make sure we're clear. Got the XP just rolling in now, 13 levels. I think we got three last night. We got ten already this night. Can't get that cop killed. Damn it, he's gonna go. No, he's not. Yes, he is. 
somebody at the door. There's the morning. Oh my god. That could have been so much worse. Alright, I'm gonna need you for sure. Well. It held. Barely. I mean, I wasn't watching the door. That's my fault. That's all on me. Okay, I gotta get full health here before we go outside. Now, the question is, I don't know if we got any succubus. Let's bring you down. We got lots of ammo for this, so... Wow, you jump right through. Come on, Jane, stick your head through. Okay, you're done. Well, all right, well, wish me luck. All right, that guy's down. Quick kills. Quick kills for quick thrills. Okay, we got a sizable horde still. Bring you guys over here. Alright, the lag is like just real here. These turrets back to work. What was that? I didn't hear you. He said I was going to do something. I don't know what he said, though. Hopefully these turrets are actually shooting the guys that aren't like demons and regenerating ridiculously fast. I mean, the, the advantage of having all these big guys here is that... Um, is that they're uh, blocking the demon spit. Actually, I should be using the APM. Well, let's get you guys over here. I'm worried about Screamer now. All right, here we go. Do 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 do. AP ammo is starting to take its toll now. I think that's it. Whew. So I think if I was continuing the series, uh, what would I do different? I don't know. I think I would have to test out. I mean, if we stayed at 24 zombie horde, I wouldn't change a damn thing. Oh, hey, buddy. Did she scream? I don't think so. Yeah, so I think if I was changing... So if I was going to keep doing... That's another Screamer. Shit. That one shotgun round. Let's get back over here where the turrets are. Probably not a smart idea though, because I think uh, this area's got too much heat in it. Grab you. 
Grab you. Okay, we're fighting these guys. I'm not, uh, not running away. But if I'm gonna fight them, gotta do it someplace where it's a le little less heaty. Blocking that for me, appreciate it. I think that's it. God, these junk turrets, man. I don't know what I would do without them. Like, really, with the dart ammo, they really are over overpowered. But, you know what, that being said, too, the, the actual difficulty of the zombies and stuff that you're facing is kind of, like, pretty heavily OP. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, I think if I was going to do this series, like, continue on, what would I do differently? I think I would, um... If we were going to continue on with the, um, uh, what was I going to say here? I got, I'm doing two things at once. I can't do that. You know me. Um, if I was going to continue on with a 24 horde, I would leave it as is. I don't think this base needs anything adjusted for 24 horde. What it does need to be adjusted for is a 32. So I think I would switch out the... Um, I don't know what you're attacking, or why you're attacking that. Um, I think I would switch out the, um, hatches on the doorway and make them titanium holes. Or a half block or something in there. And make another way in. I can't have the, uh... God, I can't have another screamer. Okay, it's just you. I thought it was a screamer. Yeah, so I think that's what I would do is I would, if it's a 24 horde, I'd leave it like it is. Oh, wow. I'm glad I put that there. I upgraded that to titanium. Yeah, so 24 horde, leave it as is. 32 horde definitely blocks there. They did a lot of damage here when they were in here. They destroyed my generator. That's something I didn't see. Let's just put this on us for now. Because um, I'm interested in what the end game loot is like. Yeah, I mean, we, as far as loot goes, this is the biggest drop, I think, of the series. Uh, I'm just going to throw the stuff I know I would never use away or sell. Um, but yeah, I, I, 24 horde, leave the base it as is. You don't really need to adjust it for any reason at all. Um, but 32, definitely I would look at putting a snake at the end of this here. So this would go out to, then go out this way, then go out this way, out this way, and then come back in probably over here. So this pillar would come out and, or move over a bit. And then that way, and this would be like a single pole that they'd have to kind of run around. And most of them would just fall off, right? They wouldn't make that run. So if that's the case, um, if they're not going to make that run, then you wouldn't need another junk turret or any of that other stuff, right? Um, just scrap you. I don't know how many of these freaking knives I get. So you wouldn't need another uh, junk sledge up there. You wouldn't need um, really to install anything. The only thing that you'd have to worry about, like I said, is the uh, succubi. Now, I have no idea if any of them showed up last night. 
I didn't hear any screams, so I'm assuming the answer is no to that question. But with the amount of like the amount of times the, the turrets were going off, uh, it leads me to believe that maybe one or two of them showed up, but the uh, the, the uh, turret got it had it covered. Like as soon as the turret hits them, then they lose their regen. With the regen gone, then the other turrets just clean them up real quick, right? And at least they're able to, to target the, uh, the hitboxes, because I, I know that the hitboxes are tough on the uh, succubi to hit while you're on the ground and fighting and stuff. So it's like, you know, you really got to know what you're shooting at. Okay, so I mean, we made out fairly well. Like, do I think that this was worth it? I mean, probably not. Like, there isn't much we need anymore, right? Like, what would I... Out of this, what would I use? There's a couple things to repair some items with, but... We got the one skill book, which is nice. So yeah, I guess in retrospect... Um, the only, like I said, the only thing I would do differently... 24 zombie horde, I would leave it. Like, I don't think you need to do anything. There really isn't any requirement um, that's going to make that base like any better than what it is. I mean, yeah, you you know you're going to eventually upgrade it to titanium and whatever else you can get, right? Ooh, there's another skill book too. Now we don't need you. Grab you, and then we can just drop. I'm not going to use a gunpowder. One rocket. Let's just check the rest of these bags before we call it a quits. Yeah, you know what? In the wasteland? It almost... You know what? I, I wonder if the game thinks the carbine is a shotgun. Yeah, so nothing really there. Because it feels like, like when I had the carbine out that I'm running faster. That's the same. Pork and shotgun. I don't know, does it does it look 10% slower? Like these just feel faster than that. Like if you listen to the footsteps, it just feels faster. I had a black guy, but I don't care. Anything here? Whole lot of nothing. Anyway, I think that'll be it for the series. I mean, there's not much left here for me to accomplish. I mean, I could still go and keep fighting hordes and do whatever, but... I don't know. I don't think it really is needed. Actually, let's go up on the top. I want to see if they did any damage up there. Let's do that. Because that'll be the telltale sign if we know. I didn't even turn the lights or anything on. I don't even think I turned the electrical fences on. I think that's what happened is I didn't turn the electrical fences on. Yeah, no damage up here. So nothing landed on the roof. You used 60 rounds. You used a full stack. What were you shooting at though? Maybe there was some birds and stuff up here. What about you? You didn't even fire. You fired three rounds. And you burned a stack in a bit. I'm wondering when they were stacked up there, if the turrets was just kind of catching their heads and shooting at them. And we didn't get any flyers. Although the... This turret was played out. So maybe we got vultures. And these would have stopped going once the power was destroyed almost partway through the night. So, I mean, I guess there's probably a way you could do power generation better here. Like I said, if this block, if we had, like if I did, was to do this on a proper um, sized horde, I guess you could call it, then this blockhouse would need to be at least a couple of blocks bigger, like this way and that way. Like two or three, uh, two or four, thicker. This is actually not a bad thickness. It's what, like nine by nine, which is pretty good. 
but 11 by 11 is better. 13 by 13 is kind of where you want to be, I think, if you're dealing with a massive horde. Because then you can double up all the walls up here and, you know, extend this corridor here, extend this out more so you have more wire going across here. This can be back a little bit. You know, you can run a, a pole system around here. And most of the normal zombies won't path that. A few of the bigger ones will, but most of the normal ones won't make that, that path. Now you gotta make it so that they can't jump from there to there, which is, I mean, you can easily do it in gap wise so that there's no distance. But they see this, that the, the pole system is the seen as the easiest way to get there, which is no problem. And then of course you wanna put the, the uh, laser battery mods on both of these guys later game. Right, you'll. I mean, you just need. I just didn't have the blue papers to do it. I could. I had. A, I had enough of everything else, but just the blue pages. I didn't have. So if you had enough, you could put one on each one of these guys too. So every time a demon walked up, it would lose its regen. It also loses its ability to shoot at that point. Now we had a lot of behemoths and stuff, so AP ammo would be the way to go. Firing through here, and knowing now, like in retrospect, this should probably be back. Maybe two more blocks. You know, if it's two more, if it's two back, two more blocks, then it really makes the AP ammo worth it. Although I don't know, I, I think that's probably fine. Yeah, it's tricky. I'm glad I upgraded this to titanium though, because they, the damage they did. These are twenty thousand, what thirty thousand, and these are twenty thousand. So this could have come out. Which I think would have been okay. They probably would have just tried to make the jump. But they may have a lot more than would have gone after the uh, the base down here, you know. And they didn't do much up here. The only problem with upgrading into Forged Titanium is you got to make a lot of trips to the Wasteland. If you don't have... Uh, if you don't have Feral Sense on, it's not a problem. But, you know, I have Feral Sense on, so it's a little bit more of a diff difficulty. Oh, we do have Steel Left. Oh, I probably picked one up. Let's check our skill points. I don't think I can actually get Completionist yet. Because I still have a bunch of skill points that I haven't spent. So we got... 19. Minus the 2 that we just got. Minus the 3 that we got the day before. We gained 14 levels last night. We've got Technology mastered out. We didn't manage to get Physical Conditioning. This would be the next one I would do. Is get these this up, is maxed out as fast as possible. Well, we, we're not we're not finding any nanites, so it's an issue, right? So security is almost done. Yay, science! Wait, can we do completionist if you're in here, right? If we don't have all the skills, I think it's I think you need to have all the masteries, don't you? Is that what it is? Where are you? The Completionist. 10 points. We can actually buy it. Gain 25% extra XP. Yeah, because that's not going to hinder you in late game. Increase crafting tier by 20 for all future tech items. Complete all classes, their masteries, and technology crafting perk. There you go. We did it. Completionist. So. Yeah, no, I, I feel like I got that done fairly well. We didn't even have any iron gut. That, I mean, that food and water loss by 50% is, is massive. So that would be what I would do moving forward, I think. That's just going to save on how much, you know, we get drained when we're taking drugs and all that kind of stuff as well. Okay, so let's go home. I'm interested to see if my crops have grown. Where's my truck? Don't care about any of this other stuff other than my truck. He said, and then scrapped two things. Um, there you are. Oh, yes, the welcoming committee. All right, well. So this is, this door is great. With any, when you don't have feral sense. Come on. Why aren't you seeing me? 
Did I turn the generator off? I don't think I did. Maybe it ran out of gas? Any more friendlies here? Oh, hey. We got a dog around there killing somebody. Oh, yeah, you know, I almost forgot. We got to fly out of here in the helicopter. The whole reason why I bought the damn thing. That's the end of the series. We fly out of here. Right, okay. Uh, where's my... Just drop most of the shiz in here for now. Did I bring the gas back? I know I put some gas in it. Doesn't have a lot, though. I think I left it over at the horde base. That would figure. Well, there's a little bit of gas in it, so I guess we fly until we run out. Um, what was I going to check when I was here? Oh, yeah, I see the crops were growing. Now that I fixed that pipe, that should work. That's the one thing that was, that's got me frustrated. Yeah, that's work. it worked. Yeah, it was the one pipe that was missing. So the light is fine. And there's the crops growing. Perfect. Excellent. All right, let's get up to the roof. Get in that chopper. Now, I don't know how to fly this thing. <laughs> I think the controls are a little different. I think it's the WASD keys or, or my arrow keys. God, I hope I don't die here. All right, now. Yep, so the up arrow is that. What's forward? Yeah, I don't know. Well, come on, I'm not going to harbor here until I run out of gas. Okay, spacebar is backwards. And C is forwards. Ah, okay. And we can just use the arrow keys to, uh... Beautiful! Alright, we're flying out of here. That will be the end of the series, everybody. <laughs> Check this thing out. Isn't this awesome or what? That will be the end of the series, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do... Um, I think I'm going to do Undead Legacy next. I thought about doing another Darkness Falls playthrough, but... Uh, no, nah, I think we're going to go with Undead Legacy. That's an interesting one. There's Jen's Town. All right. <laughs> I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.